What if you never had to send a cold LinkedIn message again? Imagine reaching out to a prospect and having instant credibility, not because of your pitch, but because someone they already trust introduced you. Hey everyone, my name is Cole, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to skip cold outreach, get warm introductions, and start better conversations with decision makers using Sales Navigator's Team Link feature. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. Team Link in Sales Navigator helps you replace cold outreach with warm introductions. Instead of manually searching for mutual connections, it scans your company's network and highlights prospects who are first degree connections with someone on your team. But here's a quick heads up. Team Link isn't actually available on the core plan. To use it, you'll need to upgrade to Sales Navigator Advanced or Advanced Plus. With either plan, you can add up to a thousand team members to share your LinkedIn connections, giving you visibility into your entire company's network so you can leverage relationships across any department and turn introductions into real conversation. Let's get Team Link up and running. From your Sales Navigator homepage, go to Admin, then Admin Settings. From there, click on Team Link and make sure it's turned on. Once that's set, head over to the People tab and start adding users to your Team Link Extend license. This lets you add anyone to your Team Link network, even if they don't have a Sales Navigator subscription. You can then send invites in three different ways. Copying an invite link, adding users by email, or importing a CSV list. As soon as your teammates accept, their first degree LinkedIn connections instantly expand your Team Link network. So instead of relying on just your own connections, you now have access to a whole network of warm introductions across your company, making it way easier to get in front of the right people. And here's where the real power of Team Link comes in. With every new teammate added, your reach grows exponentially. That means more decision makers, fewer gatekeepers, and conversations that start with trust and credibility already built in. When Team Link is all set up, let's go over how to find warm leads inside a sales navigator. Let's say we're targeting VPs of sales at mid-sized software companies based in the US. To refine the search, we'd apply filters for company headcount, function, seniority level, geography, and industry. After applying these filters, what started as a broad generic search has now turned into a highly targeted list of potential buyers. But guess what? We're not stopping there. To take it a step further, we can add a filter for Team Link connections. From here, you can see exactly who on your team has a first degree connection with your prospect, making it super easy to personalize your outreach based on that mutual relationship. And instead of reaching out cold, request an introduction directly through Sales Navigator. Simply click the Mutual Connections button on the leads profile, and then click the message icon next to the teammate who can introduce you. From there, you can send a quick direct message explaining why you'd like the intro, instantly turning a cold connection into a warm, high trust conversation. To get the most out of Team Link, it's important to use it strategically. Instead of requesting introductions for every lead you come across, focus on high value prospects. Decision makers, key contacts, or those who are most likely to drive a real business impact. Overusing Team Link can make your teammates less willing to help, so make sure you're reserving your requests for leads that truly matter. Now, when asking for an introduction, make it as effortless as possible for your colleague. Instead of just saying, hey, can you introduce me to Sarah? Provide context on why the introduction matters, and if possible, draft a message for them. The easier you make it, the more likely they are to follow through. Keeping your Team Link network updated is also crucial. As your company grows, new employees bring fresh connections, so regularly adding teammates and ensuring they opt into Team Link will expand your reach dramatically and increase the number of warm intros available to you. Beyond that, it's not just about seeing who's connected. It's about analyzing those connections to refine your outreach strategy. Look at who the mutual connection is, their relationship with the prospect, and how you can leverage that connection for a more effective introduction. By regularly updating your Team Link network, using the filter effectively, crafting personalized outreach based on mutual connections, you'll be able to maximize its potential and significantly enhance your sales efforts. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more actionable sales tips. As always, thanks for watching, happy prospecting, and I'll see you in the next video.